Well, it's in the afternoon here in the Riverland and it's nice and warm, so we thought we'd have a crack at getting some of this honey out of these um, frames that we picked up yesterday. As you can see, that's a beautiful fresh bit of honey. And we're just going to put it in the extractor here and give them a bit of a spin up. The scale holds eight frames. And it's a bit old school because you've got to turn it around, so I think the next one I'll buy will be different. But anyway, this is doing the job at the minute. So hopefully we'll have some honey on toast for breakfast. Ooh. So anyway, we're going to get these little caps off here. Beautiful bit of wax capping. This is not ideal, this knife. I don't know. I might get a different thing. I might get the roller because this doesn't really work as good as it should, you wouldn't think. It works good there where it's risen. Where it's a bit risen up, it's good. But I don't know when it's popped in a bit, it's a bit hard to get it. And then you end up digging a great bloody hole in it. So that's a bit crap. Yummy, doesn't it? Look at that. Fresh. Beautiful fresh buzz here, honey. And that's it. I think it's only six frames. So if anybody actually decides to count, we caught out. Now you don't want to start it off too fast or she'll start popping. Oh, that's of course the extraction process can take a different amount of time for a different amount of frames. This is fairly fresh honey, so it shouldn't take too long. I would say probably three, four minutes on each side once it gets up to speed. And of course, I might go and get myself a bucket of water because this is going to have crap everywhere. Looking pretty good. That's one side off. Most, and some, then so we've just got to spin it around with this model. So she's a bit. She's not the flashiest one, so you see she's very new foundation, so she's getting a bit of a whip up. That's running out nice. Anyway, we're living and learning. <laughs> well, there you go, cool. And that's what we'd call a sticky, which is basically the extracted honeycomb, so we can. Pop that back in the hive when the girls need some more and I've got some to build from. And I'll reuse that during the honey season and then after that I'll clean them up and only use the ones that are in the hive. Like these, these ones, they get better and better and better and better in wax. And then at the end of the season you can cut all that wax out of there and melt it down and clean it up. And then all the chicks can make candles and shit if they really want to. <laughs> you know, with a... Well, that's with all the rage, isn't it? Candle making? Your missus was making candles, wouldn't she? Or burning the shit. Look, Lee burning them anyway. Never mind making them. Caps catcher, I guess, the frame I made up. So as when you cut the caps off, the honey will drip through that and you'll get some... I mean, it's not first grade honey, but it's still good honey. It's probably the honey that we'll end up eating ourselves. But um, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's just another... just to save the wasting of all this, what's in the caps. That's not a bad looking little harvest. And we've still got a little bit more coming out over here as well. So I think I'm gonna need my hefty cameraman to lift this, but I got it bloody heavy. This will actually, as it settles out, the wax will come to the top. And then I usually get a, a soup ladle and I'll just get the wax bit off before I do the next strain. 
run it through another sieve. Heavy is that? That's insane. <laughs>